Hello, welcome back to this uh, book nook, trench book nook build, First World War. Um, I'm going to continue building the figures. I've already put two together. Put the Tamiya one uh, laying down, firing position, and the uh, master box one of a German figure coming in with his bayonet. I, I'm not too sure about if I'm going to be putting the head on and the arm just yet because I don't know to get the detail painted inside. Um, so I'm going to be putting this together but I'm going to be fast forwarding it uh, putting on time lapse because it's going to be a bit time consuming and I'm only putting together I'm not actually doing the spraying yet. Um, right so let's put this let's put this figure together. Okay, so that's just the basic, the basic body, and that took 16 minutes to put together. So, if you want an average time of how long this day it take, even though I did time lapse that. I haven't put none of the uh, webbing on, none of these equipment, all the hands, all the face, all the head, if you will. Um, so that'd be next. Just leave that to dry for a bit. Okay, okay, so continuing with this figure. Going to be putting on his webbing. Now, it says B14, but I've got a funny feeling it's actually B13. Yes. Could be wrong. I see, so you have to go underneath the bag a little bit. Right, I see, yeah. Okay, I believe that's all the webbing parts. Oh no, I've got A20, A29 to do as well. Okay, so now I'm going to be uh, putting this Tamiya, the officer, this officer together. He's the officer. I have put uh, some of the other Tanya, Tanya figures together. I did bother recording it because there's no point in recording every single one. I'm probably going to be doing a video on little one for Fisco figures when I do my big World War II project. Um, because these ones, I'm not going to put much detail into these ones because you're not really going to see them that well when they're in the uh, book nook so anyway 
using a bit of uh, Tamiya Tamiya cement or liquid poly as we used to call it I've already cleaned up the, uh, the figures so it's just a case of sticking them together I'll put his hat on uh, at another time. Yeah, it's got a little gun holster here. So I'll put his hat on a different time after I've painted his, uh, painted his face and so on. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to uh, continue building the figures. And uh, now I'm going to be doing uh, these ones. So I've got five figures to build. Uh, and because I want to uh, listen to World War II podcasts, I'm going to turn the volume down, get on with it, and do a bit of uh, fast forwarding and a bit of time lapsing. Okay. Okay, so now I've uh, I've primed with black primer uh, all the figures, and I have sprayed them also with an airbrush. I didn't bother filming it because I thought you've seen me spray stuff before with an airbrush. Um, and then, well, but I sprayed it with the uh, British uniform colour from AK Interactive. Um, I did put a, a I did spray it with um, a base colour before which was the British Shadow uh, but we'll come back to these paints later on so now I'm just sort of touching up a little bit with the car key which I've also been doing just in the bits where I think uh, the spray where the airbrush didn't quite get You can also sort of do a bit of a dry brush 
over it. Just to give it a little bit of texture and make it a little bit bit worn. I will be doing some uh, making it look a bit more, more worn and stuff. But uh, there you go. I won't. Um, I won't record all of it because uh, it just just takes up more time on the <laughs> on the YouTube space. Okay, so now I'm going to start painting some of the webbing. Um, I'm probably just going to concentrate on this uh, officer here at the moment um, because it'd just be too laborious going for every single one. I might do one of the German soldiers separately as well, um, but the rest I probably won't video because once you've seen one, you've seen them all really, haven't you? Might add a few just in case there's anything different, but. Uh, yeah, so I've got some life colour paints, the World War One. So let's start with the red leather. So it's a UA four five three. Which is odd because it's uh, different on the paint instructions on here <laughs> which is supposed to be nice colour oh well I'm sure it doesn't matter Especially what I'm going to be doing is the uh, for the level, and I probably will be doing another doing a wash on it. But it's these boots. So what I do, I do the uh, time lapse thing. Okay, so that's the first phase of the brown level. Now we're going to use this webbing, British Uniform Webbing uni Equipment 1. So again this is just the base colour, I will be doing some dating up, adding some um, washes to it. Ok so now I'm going to be going over the level with the, the dark level with the this light lever, just a sort of just a brushing technique, dry brush sort of kind of. Right now, this is uh, webbing and equipment two. 
I think it's just slightly lighter than the other one. So let's see how this looks. Looks more sandy to me. Not too sure about that one. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some of the life colour. Uh, uniform brown. I'm going to do it in such a way it's almost going to be like dry brushing. It's going to be sort of where the creases are and so on. Okay, so now I'm going to add some washes to the uniform, and I've got these uh, these uh, these washes. I've got a, a, a green glaze, dark brown glaze, and a brown glaze, and I've also got a deep brown wash. Um, I've already been doing some, but uh, yeah. So I'm using the green glaze here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing uh, using some of this deep brown line panel wash. Just really want to just highlight the hello. Right now, I'm going to start working on the facial features. Normally, I would do this without the head attached to the body. Um, but I'm not going to go really into detail on the faces because you're not really going to see them. It's just going to be doing the rough features, if you will. So this is uh, Life Color Flesh Base number one. I don't have to do the hands because he's wearing gloves, which is quite handy. There you go, that's the first base colour on. Okay, so now I'm going to do the white bit of his, the white bits of his eyes. Using this very, very fine tooth brush. It's got a little bit in there of his teeth as well. doesn't matter too much if I go over because there is some other flesh colours to go on yet and whilst that's drying I will do uh, his hair and moustache uh, which I'm using a brown uh, which funny enough I've used brown most of them with some hilarious results with uh, these ones with a round head because you can kind of make them look like they're bald even though they're wearing helmets anyway so I thought it was quite funny um, uh, 
This guy's got a moustache, so... Uh, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to... Uh, try and put a little black dot. There you are. Try and put a little bit up. Okay, he looks pretty uh, gnarly at the moment. Can't really see that, but it looks gnarly. But there is another coat of paint I've got to put on yet, anyway. Or well, a couple more coats. Uh, I've been working on some of the others. I've been doing a, a flesh wash on some of the others. Um, you can't really see that in this light, <laughs> but they're coming on quite well. I'm using this uh, flesh light one, one light flesh or whatever. Just going to be going over some bits, getting the eyes to look more like eyes rather than just blobs. Like I said, I'm not going too much into detail with the features on on this because you're not going to see it much on the diorama being it's a book nook just got his touches moustache up a bit Okay, now with this uh, flesh shade one, or one flesh shade, with loads of water, I'm going to make a wash. And just apply the wash. Uh, yeah, a bit of polished bronze. That was, that was a bit of. Oh, I can't remember what that colour was. <laughs> it was. Uh, beige red. And now with some yellow to carefully sorry if I'm off camera now with some gun metal. Seems to be a bit, and some of this uh, metal black. I could paint his revolver. I 
and I can get on and paint all the rest of the guns and so on. And lastly I've got to paint his, uh, his commander's stick. <laughs> so I'm going to use some of this Japanese uniform World War II and some wood grain. I'll just do the other sticks while I'm here. Okay, so now I'm painting the guns. I've already painted the uh, the gun metal on the guns. Now I'm just using this Japanese uniform colour on the wood. Pretty much be doing this in all, all the guns. Now for some wood grain. Now I'm going to be uh, doing the uh, bayonets. Which is a steel paint. Okay, now to put the rifle together. Um, yeah, believe it or not, you have to put the little sight on. Seems quite ridiculous to me having to do this. <laughs> well, I didn't mould it, all, I don't know. Um, but there you go. So, there you go, you need some touching up on it. I will do the straps at a later date. I might do I might do some, but um, but yeah. That pretty much brings us to the end to the this video. Please like and subscribe. Please join me next time. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm hoping to do a little bit more of this project, but I will be moving on to another project in between. Um, yeah, so see you next time. Bye.